I had been using Gmail every single day for more than 10 years. It was my go-to email client for everything, for personal emails, business communication, managing my YouTube channel, running my businesses. Gmail was just part of my daily routine, like checking the weather or grabbing coffee, until the 18th of August, 2023, when I made the decision to switch to Superhuman. And honestly, I have not looked back since. Now, before we dive in, I should mention that Superhuman has sponsored this video, but I've genuinely been using Superhuman every single day for the last two years. So this isn't me trying out a product for a week and then making a video about it. This is my actual experience after using it for over two years. The reason why I switched wasn't because Gmail was terrible. It's a perfectly functional email client, but I went from having thousands of unread emails and constantly missing important messages and also missing business opportunities because of my inefficient use of email to having an AI that thinks like my best executive assistant organizing my inbox so I can focus on what actually matters. Before I switched, I'd have thousands of unread emails and important client messages buried somewhere between new letters I forgot and I subscribed to and promotional emails from companies I bought from like once three years ago and I'd spend a good 30 to 40 minutes I'd say every day just trying to figure out what actually needed my attention. Superhuman managed to fix this. So the AI automatically labels emails and files them appropriately. Receipts go to a receipts folder, newsletters get sorted and important client emails get flagged before I even see them. It's kind of like having a personal assistant who's already organized everything by the time you sit down to check your emails. The auto labels feature learns what's important to you based on your behavior, not just your keywords. After a few weeks, it was already accurately identifying which emails needed immediate attention and which could wait. And then we have the split inbox feature. So instead of one chaotic mess mixing personal emails with business communications, I can separate everything into focus streams. I have six splits. I have my main inbox, which are mostly personal emails. Then I have Bike Lab HQ, which is another business I run. Then I have Mike at Playstack, which is a third business I run. Then there's the team at Playstack, email. I have a calendar split. So these are emails like when you get an email that someone has accepted your Google Meets meeting and you get the email confirmation. All those emails go into the calendar split. And finally, we have the newsletter split, which honestly, I don't check that often. It's all the newsletters I've signed up to over the years that automatically get sent to this split so they don't clog up my main inbox. Now, this means I can spend a chunk of time focusing on one business. And then once I've done all of those tasks for that business, I can then switch my focus to tasks for the second business. It helps because I'm not having to context switch every few seconds. And if you've watched any of my previous videos, you'll know how damaging constantly context switching can be to your daily productivity. The bigger problem with Gmail wasn't just organization though, it was that I was basically dropping the ball on important communication. So I'd send a proposal to a potential client and because my email was just a big mess, I'd then completely forget to follow up when I didn't hear back or I'd miss a time sensitive email because it got buried beneath 20 promotional messages. Now Superhuman solved this with automatic reminders and follow-up drafts. So when I send an important email and I don't get a response within a few days, Superhuman automatically reminds me to follow up. So you can see here on the right in pink, some of the emails say, remind me. Those are the emails where I've put a reminder on them to remind me to check back if they haven't replied. However, very cleverly, the emails with auto reminders next to them. Those are the emails that Superhuman have automatically put a reminder on, so I don't have to, to make doubly sure that I don't miss following up on any emails. And Superhuman goes one step further, it actually writes the follow-up message for you. So those emails where you're just circling back because they ignored your first email, with Gmail, most of the time, I just forget to circle back. But Superhuman reminds me and it writes the email draft for me. So let me show you how ridiculously fast this works. So I emailed one of the businesses that I work with saying that their discount codes don't seem to be working. Now, you can see in the bottom right that they opened the email 
but they did not reply to me. So what I do is click the AI icon in the bottom right. I literally just write check up. And in less than a second, it writes a short and concise follow-up email. And I mean, without Superhuman, that email would have taken me a good one or two minutes to write, but Superhuman wrote it for me in less than one second. It's also because Superhuman's AI learns your writing style from your previous email. So the responses actually sound like you, not like a corporate template with those kind of ridiculous ridiculous hyphens that AI tends to always write, which just makes it obvious that you're using AI to write them. Now, this has probably saved me from losing more business opportunities than I'd like to admit. How many potential collaborations or clients did I lose over the years of using Gmail because I sent an email and then forgot to follow up? Now, that almost never happens. Everything in Superhuman has a keyboard shortcut, so you never need to touch your mouse. So when I'm processing emails, I can fly through my inbox because most of the emails I receive, I don't actually need to open them. I know what they're about, so I just hit E on my keyboard and it's archived instantly. And it's the same if I see an email that I don't want to receive. I don't need to open it. I just hit Shift plus exclamation mark and it's blocked forever. And it's safer this way because opening suspicious emails is obviously just asking for trouble, but hitting shift plus exclamation mark means I don't need to even open it and risk exposing my laptop to viruses. Important emails that need a detailed response later on, I just hit H on my keyboard and I can set a reminder for in three days time when I actually want to focus on that specific task. It's also important from a productivity standpoint because if you're focused on one specific task and then you received an email, it can then distract you away from the task you're doing and now you're doing something completely different. Now, if you get 10 emails in one hour, each one giving you a new task, you're just going to be switching tasks every five minutes. So I use the H shortcut and write tomorrow 9 a.m. to so many emails every day, because then tomorrow at 9 a.m., I'll just carve out 20 minutes of my time to go through all of my emails all in one go, as opposed to sporadically throughout the day. The calendar integration is surprisingly useful as well. So when I want to schedule a meeting with someone, I type, are you free Wednesday 9 a.m.? And you can see my calendar pops up on the right side of the screen. So I can actually see if I'm free on Wednesday at 9 a.m. The Ask AI feature lets me quickly get context on email threads or find specific information without scrolling through long conversations. So I can ask, what meetings do I have next week? And it pulls up all the meetings I have for next week week in a very easily digestible format. I get a lot of similar emails like sponsorship inquiries, collaboration requests, people asking for just general YouTube growth advice. Instead of writing similar responses from scratch each time, I've created templates using superhuman snippet feature. I have about six different snippets covering the most common emails I receive. So I get emails every day asking if we can review certain products or whatever. And to reply to them, I press command plus semicolon and I select the appropriate response and it automatically personalizes it with the sender's name. A response that used to take a good, I don't know, three or four minutes now just takes 20 seconds. After more than two years of using Superhuman on a daily basis, I'm spending about 15 minutes per day on email instead of, let's say, 30 to 40 minutes. So that saves me roughly about two and a half hours per week or about 130 hours annually that I've just gotten back. But it's not just about time, it's about mental energy. Email used to be this kind of constant background stress. Important messages getting buried, forgetting to respond to people, missing opportunities because follow-ups slipped through the cracks. Now, my inbox hits zero every day, which I would say almost never happened consistently with Gmail. Superhuman costs from $30 per month while Gmail is free. Now that's $360 annually, just for email, but here's the math. If I'm saving 130 hours per year, and let's say I value my time at $100 per hour, I'm getting back $13,000 worth of my time annually. So then paying $360 to get my time back is very straightforward. Even if you value your time at $50 an hour, so half, you're still getting back $6,500 
on your $360 investment. But let's say if you're getting like, I don't know, 10 emails per day and you're happy with Gmail, then this probably isn't worth the cost. Gmail is adequate for light email usage. But if you're dealing with high email volume, if you're dealing with managing multiple projects or finding that email management is eating into your productive time, the efficiency gains are significant. If you want to experience what AI native email feels like, you can get started with one month of free superhuman using my link in the description below. And if you like this video, I have two more videos here and here of other AI tools that will help you save so many more hours in the day. You can click on the cards on the screen to watch those and I'll see you over there.